Oh, dudes. Frozen water down no good. What? What happened? Freaking Chinook blew in, boys. Yeah. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to hook up the, uh, the fuel fuel filler neck in accordance to if I don't, fuel's going to go on the ground. So I'm terrible. And then I'll be decked. I feel like that was some party the other day, eh? Holy. Oh, we'll give her a little of the hobo special here. A little nine and one. Oh! Ceiling the spots right now. That's cool. Holy right, dudes. Dudes, customers book. I think this is probably the most customs freak thing I've ever made in my life, boys. Got the little, the little dongleberry. Let's see if we can find some gascoots and uh, and earth coals, and then we can put the drain for the turb ski on. Yeah, pop that guy on there. Bolt that guy on there. That guy have to be turned into the Whitward. Let's see if we can find a gascoot. Where would a gascoot be if I was an oil pan gascoot? Probably close enough for Inwood. I don't know what else that would be. Don't know what else that would be, boys. The final steel pipe. <laughs> now we can put oil in it. Anyway, I don't know if I will yet or not, though, because. Some dicks, but <laughs> Loctite on the spectacles. Not too bad. What do I do with my Roche? Oh no. Oh, just look onto it, boys. Look at a drain tube from the for the tube ski. Pretty sure if we hog on the end of that knob there with a pair of the with a pair of the the good Irwins, yeah, we'll get the good good Irwins on there and we'll give her one of them. And then I had a 10 mil. I had a friggin' 10 mil Roche. Way to put it back, but I don't really do that. So that's tight, that's loose. So we gotta go loose. If we plan on getting this off of here. Ooh, that's marvelous. Look what I've done. Look what I've done. I'm really, really good at working on stuff, boys. I really am. I worked on stuff. Hey, huh? I did. Don't please me to me, boys. I'm sensitive. Sensitive 
my Vazone in the Vazone. Well, I wonder if I put the light over here, if I'd be able to see it all. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Funny that. Yeah, only broken a little. You guys need me to work on stuff. I'm really good at it, so I could like come over to your house and work on your stuff for you. Do things. That used to be good until I worked on it. Now the ends friggin' snapped right off. Eh? Friggin' snapped right off. It is. Son of a bitch. We got that out now. This is now when the throttle cable comes. I just ordered it today because I'm a stupid idiot. I didn't, uh, I put it in the cart and then left it there. Oh dear. But see so yeah, a hole in the pisser head and the custom pisser head freaking throttle freaking shaft bracket marmaduke there. You can saw it, the, the green stain where the mushroom is. I got a little burst hole that goes in there. Oh, that still works after I worked on it. Hey, after I freaking worked on it, boys. I apologize. I apologize, but like, look at how much of the stability factor the the road knee odor is. Hey, that's custom as frig. I'm not sure if you're aware, but I also bolted the engine in, so now it's like cinched. It's friggin' cinched, and uh, yeah, I figured we'd just have a look and saw it. I think I'm gonna come into the with these hoses from the back. I'm gonna come in and around and into the side down here. Take this one that I plugged into the side and put it into the top. There's a T down there, and then uh, I think that'll be better for the fitment. Maybe I mean I could just scooch around there and come into here and bloop and this and that, but we'll see. We'll friggin' see. Not too bad. You know what I mean? But I gotta get this intercooler out to clean it up and pressure test it and I seen this thing and it friggin blew my mind blew my friggin mind take an inner tube take a lawnmower or tractor or whatever I got some laying around here somewhere I'm gonna cut like the valve stem off it leave like a big area around there wrap it around the ends of the intercooler clamp clamp I mean you only need one but you know what I mean rubber on one, seal it up, and the friggin' uh, valve stem on the other one. Just give her a little choo-choo-poo of the air skiing, a couple squirts, just to check. I mean, I'm sure it leaks. It's, yeah, that's how I'm gonna test it. Hey, well, once I find a, I didn't, in a hinter tube, we'll uh, make a little thing and then I can test different shit too. We can put it on the turb ski and make sure like the, you know, the intake and all that's not uh, leaking on that side as well, probably. I mean, we don't even need to, yeah, we just put one right on the asshole and plug it right in there and then we can see you know all the different leaks all around the the area where we're gonna lose every last bit of our boost but yeah oh hey dudes oh dudes check this out oh we got the bell housing all together got the baron on there and the, and the fork and steam and the friggin boltes for the for the clutch and everything everything's all cleaned up everything's all lockety much in new friggin pivot ball everything everything so that should be you know ready to go on there as far as i can tell but uh yeah this thing is friggin heavy like i don't even know if i'm gonna be able to do anything with this to be honest with you we need a hand no time like tomorrow, 18 into tomorrow, eh, I guess. Oh, yeah. If that's any sign of things to come, we're in for a treat.
Holy shit, this thing's crazy. I gotta finish my cigarette. Hold on. Oh my goodness, let's see what time it is now. It is. Holy shit, it's two o'clock in the morning, boys. That's not good. But I wanted to get some, you know, forgot about that, actually. We should, uh, we should do that right now, probably. Now that I remembered it. But anyways, I wanted to get something done and accomplished and achieved in accordance to, I haven't got really anything like done in like, you know, a few days or whatever, but check this out, boys. Watch this. High, low. Hopefully, it's blowing. Oh yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely blowing. So that's good. We got the heater working, boys. And clamps, I expect it, right? So heater, heater, heater. I mean, short of like, you know, looming up and tying up the, the cables and whatnot. We got a heater, boys. We got the heater and the heater is, the heater is, Hooked up, man. But, uh, yeah, I just got her freaking spliced into the guy. We got some keyed power. So the top three on this side are going to be keyed power because we only got 10 assholes. So we got 10, 11, and 12 are going to be all keyed powers. So I got them all tied together on one side. And we can just add her sassries on the other side. We'll figure it out. It'll be awesome. But, uh, yeah, boys, we got, we got the heater working. In case, case it gets winter again, or still, probably, probably. Oh man, this really is heavy. Well, that wasn't too bad. I'll probably end up friggin pulling the pulling each one out lock tight and giving her the uggity googities as hard as my wap will do it we'll Since that on there, but yeah, it's 2 30 in the morning So I gotta go to bed Don't really want to but uh, yeah tomorrow will be fact if I don't I mean it's already gonna be dicked, but uh, yeah, we're trying to remember all the stuff we left undone to get later while we were doing it we could have just done it then but didn't hey yeah but uh yeah hopefully tomorrow get the rest of this clutch figured out bolted in figured out the bell housing on and then uh you know at least that's done and then we can just pop the friggin transmission on there for bolts i done when uh when we're done it'll be awesome I took these two bolts out for something too and i can't remember what they're for so that's awesome i really really like that so that's great. If anybody knows what those two bolts are for, I'd be much in the blurgence. Good lord. 
That's some bitch, eh? Oh, uh, oh, uh. Let's see if we can fucking break it. Eleven. Deck. <clears throat> Wait until you even saw this, all the stuff I devoiced. Oh, other than spill and coolant all directly over the place like eight times in a row. Other than that, though, not that. You don't need to see that. But uh, working on uh, figuring out some type of the air compressor. We got the D, you know, the D gas bottle, whatever you want to call it, overflow bottle in the freaking road. So, I mean, I could, of course, move it, but. You know, uh, I might, I might consider that, but I also might consider just putting this thing on its side because we got the, the suck and the blow, which is perfect because you don't want the blow on the bottoms, the oil level, and then, you know what I mean? So, yeah, and then we got room down here for all our like air compressor components and whatnot. So, hopefully. What we're going to end up having to do is make a new top alternator mount. It's got a two two bolts. So we'll just make a mount that's got a plate on the top, two handlers for the bolt, two handlers for the bolt, hold the alternator. So it'll just be right above the alternator because it runs off the alternator pulley anywards. But, uh, yeah, good lard. Got a bunch of crap under the dash done too. Should shunt you. Should freaking shunt you, boys. I got like... Uh, like ignition it says like if we you know put power to you know that guy and on the ground we'd, we'd be able to we'd be able to turn the engine over and we got keyed power something else fuel pump keyed power and something else i can't remember but then down here we got uh the wipers and the friggin' heater and the friggin' fuel pump and the friggin' different things. So that, I think I showed you already, but we got the the uh, heater fan working. So as I wired up the the uh, windshield wipers today, got that all friggin' lockety blocking. The only wire that isn't hooked up is for the uh, drink for the window piss wire. So that's the window piss wire. That's the window piss tube. Pretty pretty straightforward and uh cleaned up the the uh wiring for the heater box a little bit not too bad got the friggin' radiator mounted secure sprig just looking to make sure you know our sport rods aren't in the road or anything when we put them in there there's another one over here comes in and in and amongst in and amongst way down here like quit that one there two more over there and dim things so yeah man coming together a friggin a decent holy shit holy shit I got a throttle cable coming we'll be able to drill the hole in the pisser head son of a bitch for the to mount the guy but yeah up though I should have bolted the clutch on there I don't know. I don't know how you do it. So I've never done it right before, right? So that little pin holds the one side of the SO in there. So I'm pretty sure I got to take the bellhousing back off to uh, 
put that back in there. It's just not, you know, you just can't get it, can't get it in, right? So, I don't know, I'll we'll have to uh, dick around a little bit, I guess, maybe, is what'll have to happen there, right? But, uh, yeah, I've just been uh, doing all kinds of stuff, mostly, mostly cleaning up all the wires under the dash and figuring, figuring some stuff out there, so it's a lot less overwhelming right now you know what i mean now i got a bunch of shit hooked up i can just like like now you know most of the wiring is like all oh, this shit we got like uh the back interior light and the front interior light and then the roof lights and then this is the uh, alternator so that's for uh the tack tack wire for the for the panel that's still over there we're still gonna dick around with that and i gotta uh put the fuel fuel mixer and smells their grounds and new things and stuff or something so there's that but not too bad not really too bad at all so all right dudes well that's probably good for today i got shit to do okay and freaking get this movie up and freaking carry on but uh yeah we'll come back out tomorrow and do a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more a little bit more but this friggin uh hair compressor that should be pretty awesome eh yeah just gotta finger it out a little bit not too bad be nice if it stood straight up though but i don't know where we put that put that box maybe we'll just get a smaller one or something make it a more low profile situation but never installed a clutch before probably decked her Definitely got to take the bell housing off to put that clip back on, so that's handy, but should just zip right off there, lickety mix flips. Sounds like a tomorrow task. Feel a poop and a cigarette coming on, but uh, anyways, boys, pretty smoked cigarettes.